Hey everyone, I'm Trish Klein, and today I'm going to show you how to create this wreath, along with the roses at the bottom. So the supplies you are going to need for this will include these toilet paper roll tubes. You'll probably need around eight to 10, depending on the embellishments you want to use. You will also need some, a pencil, a ruler, scissors, a glue gun, and some paint and a paintbrush. Now you can also use spray paint as well. So gather your supplies and let's go up to the craft room and get crafting. Okay, the first step is to flatten the toilet paper tube. And there are two ways of getting this done to get the pieces that we want. The first one is to draw, and I am using about one and a half centimeter size, which means I will have a little bit left on the end. Once you've done that, you can cut those out. I like this method because it means I will have straighter pieces. Okay. Now, the second method is just to fold and cut. I don't like this method as much simply because you don't get as even a pieces. Okay, so you would do the fold and cut and then you continue on until you get some really eight pieces out of this. So another fold, which will give you four, and then another one, which will give you eight, okay? Keep going until you have 48 pieces, and then we're ready to paint. Time to paint. I'm using a 405 Teal Acrylic Folk Art brand that I had lying around the house. You might have some spray paint, you might have some cream color, anything works. I've been trying to paint the inside first and then go around to the outside. And you may need to do two coats of this. So you may want to go back in once it's dry and just to give it a touch up. Once you have all 48 pieces painted, we'll get started on putting it together. Once we are all painted, we're going to start putting it together. So the first part of it is going to be the circle. And if you can find something big enough that you can put it around and get your circle so that it's actually a circle, uh, you're doing better than I am because I can't actually find anything that size. I do have a paint can here. So I'm just checking. And I'll check at the end as well and just make sure I have a circle. Okay. Take your glue gun. I've got two glued here already, just like this, right at the end. And I'm going to add some glue just to the end here. And then I'm going to keep going all the way around. And then of course it sticks. All right. 
So I'm going to keep going. You glue yours and we'll meet back here. Okay, so we're ready to start the next part, which is putting the rest of it together. And this is the pattern that I've chosen. There's one that is right at the seam and it's almost straight. And then there's these two here that come to the side a little bit. So just going to add this one at the end. I'm using a glue gun for this. Right at the seam there. And then we're going to glue that on there. Okay. One in the middle here is right about in the middle. Okay. And then we put this one in here and I'll glue it like this on both sides. And then we're back to the start again, where we're putting this one that kind of goes straight out. And glue to the side. Of course, you can do any pattern that you like. You can experiment and see which way you want to put it around. I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to show you how to make a toilet paper rose. We are going to make some tube roses uh, to add to your wreath. To make the roses, you will need two toilet paper tubes. Cut it down the middle, open it up, and then you are going to take a bottle that has a six centimeter or a two and a half inch bottom. You are going to draw two circles on the toilet paper tube, one on one edge and the other on the other side. Then you are going to cut out both circles, draw on the second one and you should end up with four. Once you have done that, you want to fold this in half so we can start forming the petals. Well, if you get any of these on here, you can probably just remove them. Now, what we try to do is to make it nice and even so that you have six pie, uh, pie shapes in there. So once I've done that, You can try and fold it. I found it was probably easier just to cut and cut instead of trying to fold it. I'd usually get one side that was bigger than the other. Once you've got that, we need to shape 
the petals. So try to not leave a sharp shape at the end, but round it off as best you can. And you can always go back and do that a little bit more too. So once you have all of the petals done on the four shapes that you will get, you should end up with a six. And then we want a five, so you take one out of there. And then you will have a four. And then the, the last one you have the six, you cut it down the middle, and then you have a two and you have a one. The next step is to paint it whatever color you want. Once they are painted, you are going to curl them and you are going to curl them by using something like a paintbrush. Uh, if you have something possibly like a glue stick or something that will just curl them back and make them round. Then we're going to take our glue gun and the first thing we are going to do is start with number one. And I found it much simpler to take something to roll this around to try and give it a good shape. I just like to round off the bottom on this one as well. Just give it a little bit of glue up here. And then we're going to go with the two petals. Do a little curve on these two. You might end up curving your petals again, but once you've got that petal shape, it's so much simpler to curve them again. Just put a little bit of glue in there. And then we're going to do number three. Let's go a little faster now. Okay, the next one is the fourth one. Just add your glue. Hold it for a bit. Then number five. Do the same thing. Don't burn your fingers. And then of course, finally number six. Make as many roses as you like, or you can find instructions for other flowers as well. Okay, I almost forgot to show you how to make the curlicues. So what you want to do is take one of these that's painted, take off about an inch, 
and then find something like a paintbrush or something just to give it a little roll. This looks like it needs more paint. A lot more paint. And then you will have your little number six. The other here is to add the embellishments if you want. And you can choose where to put them. Um, I'm putting mine right here in these middle ones. And just making them into a bit of a six, which I will do all the way around. And then we, I will just take one one's glued in place and just glue them all into place. Once I've done that, I will decide where to put my roses. Glue them on and then we're done. And here it is hanging on the door. Thanks for crafting with me today. If you create a wreath, add it in the comments.